So here's our crossfade. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And by scrubbing through, it's easy to see how that's going to look. And suppose we want to tweak this, you know, let's make this dissolve happen a little later so the trolley gets a little further down the street. Well, one way of doing this would be manually click and drag this out so the dissolve would start later. And then to keep the duration of the dissolve, this other one would have to be adjusted. And now it's a little further down the timeline. And the trolley does get a little further down the street. But I'm going to undo that and remind you of that technique I showed you about slipping the event so you're not actually moving the event, but you're changing the timing of the media. Well, we can do that with a transition as well. So I'm going to hold down the Control and Alt keys. As I hover over the overlap, you see Control and Alt are held. There's a box with two arrows. And as I click and drag, we're not moving the events around on a timeline, we're merely readjusting the out point of event A and the in point of event B, and just adjusting the timing of where that dissolve is going to happen. Let's get the keyboard out of here. So instead of having a multi-step process where the in and out points have to be adjusted and then dragged out to make sure that the duration doesn't change, it's all one operation. Hold Control Alt and then just slip the position of the edit. So now that you know most of the basics of editing, let's go into some of the fun, a little more advanced stuff.